Hey guys, so we haven't done an informative video in a very long while. So I thought we'll use today for one of those informative videos. So all you two-stroke riders have a very important question on your mind. Should we remix the oil in the petrol and pour it in the petrol tank? Or should we uh, use the 2T pump or the auto lube pump for Yamaha? specifically other brands had a different name but Yamaha patented it uh, and they called it auto loop okay so before we talk about uh, which is better it is very important to understand the Japanese philosophy or the Japanese lean principle okay so Japan. Japan was a country which was completely ravaged by World War II and when the first nuclear bombs were dropped on Japan, the country was destroyed. So they had to build the country from scratch and when they had to build a country from scratch, it basically had to be in a way that could really help them scale up very fast but at the same time not waste much time and you know resources. So what uh, basically Japan did is, Japan basically uh, followed a principle called lean principle. So in a lean principle, the basic question that they ask is whether it is necessary and whether it is important. Let's say it's about adding a small nut or a bolt. The lean principle will first ask you a question whether, you know, you should use that nut or a bolt or is there a cheaper alternative or a simpler alternative available so based on that principle everything in japan was built so our bikes are no different even our bikes were built on these lean principles so the auto lube or the 2t oil pump that you have is not a completely useless thing but um, if you ask me it is a pretty dangerous uh, thing to rely on and it is dangerous because it can fail at any moment and it can fail without any notice so what actually happens is when the oil pump fails the you know crank actually gets lubricated by 2d oil and when there is no lubrication the engine will cease so basically you know metal meets metal friction is not metal's friend and when a lot of friction happens due to heat everything just you know gets friction welded and finally uh, everything gets seized so at a simple way it can be just a piston you know scratching against the cylinder walls and nothing major can happen and it is kind of reversible to an extent but if let's say you know your engine seize has happened over a period of time or over an example that i will give later in the video then what will happen is uh, you may lose the crank the connecting rod might break the piston can break the sleeve inside the cylinder can break so a lot of things can go wrong so uh, basically the question is if such huge things happen is the oil pump useful at all so the answer is yes and I'll give you an example why but before that we'll talk about the premix and how much oil should we put in petrol so the first question people ask me should I use a particular oil see basically this oil is used for lubrication so if your you know engine is a daily runner you can use any 2t oil if let's say your bike is not something which you use on a daily basis and it's a special thing you can you know of course bestow upon some very good 2t oils like fully synthetic oils etc so that would definitely you know make your bike run a little better but the difference is hardly noticeable so it's always advisable to use whatever is available at the petrol pump now the ratio okay so the ratio is not that you know you can calculate using money earlier it was easy when petrol was 90 bucks you pay 100 say put petrol for 90 and put oil for 10 bucks it used to be something you know 
almost close to the ratio that um, you put in your bike so the ratio actual ratio is maximum 30 milli of oil it's 25 to 30 milli but 30 is what is recommended per liter of petrol so if it is one liter of petrol it's 30 milli oil if it's two liter of petrol it's 60 milli oil if let's say your bike has had a recent engine rebuild then you can put maximum 35 but not more than that some mechanics advise to put 80 milli 70 milli you will just you know short your plugs and you will choke your silencer nothing else will happen than that and you will basically you know annoy everybody at a traffic signal so the best idea is to just use maximum 30 to 35 milli of oil 35 only in case your engine had a rebuild otherwise 30 is best the more oil you add the hotter the engine runs that's a different topic we'll talk about that in a different video but this is what happens okay now the question is in what scenario the oil pump is useful so let's say you know scenarios where you do a lot of engine braking so when you do engine braking there is no petrol going into the engine so basically the carburetor slide is shut so it won't pull fuel from uh, the bowl and it won't go into the uh, the cylinder and that because of which the crank will get oil starved after a certain amount of time and the engine will cease so these kind of scenarios don't happen when let's say you are doing a sprinted ride on the road and all of a sudden you decide to downshift and use the engine braking and then take uh, take off again so those are like you know millisecond things so those things don't really affect but there are scenarios but in case you have an oil pump as you can see in this video the oil injection happens after the carburetor slide so basically um, the engine doesn't starve so even if you are doing a lot of engine braking you're still getting oil getting pumped into the manifold so basically for short shifts or you know short stint of engine braking things don't go bad but let's say you're going downhill and if you're using engine braking you're definitely going to ruin your engine because a two-stroke is not meant to do engine braking okay so that is basically where the oil pump actually makes a lot of benefits plus it again you know helps common people from doing mathematics and calculating okay i have put 200 rupees worth of petrol today petrol is this much so th that much liter is what i got so this much milliliter of oil so the oil pump basically helps you do the calculation so another thing is see oil pump can have an airlock so even if there is no uh, seal damage in the oil pump it can still stop pumping oil into the cylinder sometimes if there is seal damage then there will be an oil leak and you will know that you know oil is leaking out but there are scenarios where that doesn't happen so there are situations when oil seals are intact or you know there is just an airlock so at that time if your oil pump is not pumping fuel and you're not i mean pumping oil and you're not putting 2t oil along with the petrol in the tank then it's a sure shot recipe to ensure that you can kiss your engine goodbye so basically oil pump is good in certain scenarios but oil pump is not that great in certain scenarios um, so if you ask me what do you choose i would always choose putting 2t oil in the petrol tank primary reason one it is good for the tank so it doesn't rust second is you can be sure that even if the oil pump fails there is oil uh, some people ask okay shall i use a bit of both no that's not a good idea oil pump will keep on supplying the regular amount whatever you add in the tank will be extra so that will definitely cause more problems so that is something that you don't do now the second question is do i only put oil in tank yes so that's what i would recommend if there is any further questions you can ask in the comments and of course engine braking is something that you should avoid on a two stroke on any cost use your clutch or if you are you know coming downhill just put your bike in neutral and use the brakes to uh, bring the bike to a halt if you are coming downhill engine braking is something that you don't do
okay so i hope this video was informational if it was please like share and subscribe and of course if you've had similar scenario where your engine blew up because of engine braking do comment and we'll see you in the next video bye bye